Hi everyone. So, I have to do a really quick rant. Um, this is going to be on a topic that a lot of you might be familiar with, which is invisible illnesses. Um, if you don't know what an invisible illness is, it's things that you can't see by a person's appearance. It's things like chronic pain, um, heart problems, brain problems. Invisible illnesses are things you can't physically see on the outside. Um, these are things that people often get judged for because people cannot see that they have something wrong with them. If you've seen one of my other vlogs, you'll know that I had to leave school for a while to figure out what was going on with my vertigo. Well, it turns out that I have, like, something going on with my heart. Um, I have sinus tachycardia, which means that, um, it beats, like, really, really fast. Like, faster than normal over 100 beats per minute when I'm just like resting and so doing exercise can bring it up to almost 200 beats per minute and although that's not necessarily dangerous since it does fall right below like the maximum threshold I'm allowed to have for what my um, age is it does feel uncomfortable and make it, like, difficult for me to continue doing exercise. And so, I tend to not be going up the stairs too much. Like, I'll go up one flight of stairs from the bottom of my dorm building up to my floor because I'm on the first floor, which isn't that bad. But we have one building that's three floors, and it's pretty awful. Like. People who are totally in shape are completely out of breath by the time they get to the third floor. So, because of my heart, I don't take the stairs when I have to go to the third floor. I take the elevator. However, since I've been doing that, I've been getting some pretty nasty looks from people. And, okay, yeah, I can deal with people's looks, like, it's one- like, I understand that, like, the older ladies that are getting into the elevator with canes because they can't walk up the stairs probably think I'm just being lazy. But that's the thing. It's not because I'm being lazy. It's because of my heart, and I really would rather not get to class having severe chest pains and out of breath and be sitting there with my heart beating ridiculously fast so that I can feel it while I'm trying to concentrate on my classwork. And, okay, like I said, I can deal with people staring, it happens. But when you say to me that I am using the elevator because I am lazy and fat, no. That's not okay with me. Like, you can keep your judgments to yourself. I don't need to hear them. Yeah, I'm a little overweight. Not like... Ridiculously overweight. I'm a little overweight. But that's not even the cause of my heart problems. Because none of my doctors are concerned that my weight has anything to do with it. My heart has been like this since middle school, when I was actually pretty much, like, at the lower end of healthy weight. So, it's not to do with my weight, it's just my heart. And... So for a person to tell me that I'm using the elevator because I am lazy and fat, no. I'm not going to let that happen. So I explain my heart issue. And they're just like, well, if you walked up the stairs, you wouldn't have a heart issue anymore because you'd lose weight. My heart isn't because of my weight. I'm not that overweight. I'm like five pounds above where I usually am, which is a pretty healthy weight. It's not that big of a deal that I've gained five pounds. But to the person who decided to comment both on my weight and the fact that I'm using the elevator when you don't know the situation, fuck you. Seriously. Like, it is not for you to decide whether or not I can use the elevator. It is not up to you. Like, this is not okay. You can't tell people what they can't do. Like. That's like telling somebody who's parking in the handicap spot that has a handicap placard that they can't use that spot because they don't look disabled. That pisses me off when I hear about people doing that. You don't have to look disabled. You don't have to look sick to be sick. 
you don't have to be visibly, like, different for there to be something wrong with you. And for people to assume that there's nothing wrong with you just because of how you look, these people are assholes and they need to stop. If you have judgments, keep your nasty looks, keep your words, and go. We don't want to deal with it. We shouldn't have to deal with it. It needs to stop.